Hello, welcome to Wheels RC. What you can see in front of you is the chassis for an FTX Outback. If you look on the channel, uh, you um, will find quite a few videos of this truck in its normal um, running state. I am going to attempt to rebuild it so it doesn't fall over all the time. Now, it's been done a few times, I've got the idea for a few guys off of um, Facebook and things like that. Okay. Uh, what the idea is, you can use stuff from the Maverick Scout to improve this vehicle no end apparently. This here is a, a axle for a Maverick Scout. Got the st servo mounted to the axle itself which would do away with the uh, FTX's problem with the steering because it used to lock don't know whether that was my fault or the truck but we're going to get away with that by doing this and got another axle here with a mounted servo on it yeah two axles with servos because what we have here I just don't know if anybody can see that. There you go. A signal reverser. Four wheel steering. That's what I'm going to go with for this one. Uh, that literally plugs into your receiver and does what it says on there. It reverses the signal. So when you steer left, for instance, the front axle will steer left, the rear axle will steer right to give you an improved turning circle don't know how good it's going to be but you know that's the way that's the way we build these things just to see how good they are now apparently I haven't done this yet you use the top links from the FTX and you have to use the bottom links from the Maverick Scout. That is why I've got these obviously. I think I bought too many of these. But let's see how we go. Okay, so with the links, if you go ahead and undo the link end from the actual Y link, which is the top link, uh, you take that bit off, that's what you're left with. Okay, and you've got your smaller link end there and if you take the end of the link of the scout ones which I've done there the little link ends that can fit into your mount, motor mount this is if you've got the 3D printed one will screw straight onto the link for the scout just like that you then have your fixing for the top uh, for the bottom mount to go to the you link on the um, scout axle I'm well, sorry if I'm not explaining it correctly so you've got the top link there which is the Y link there that goes on to the the ball joints on the chassis of the FTX got to think up a way of fixing that to that so we need to think of, uh, find out a way of fixing that there to that there you can then push your link ends back into your into the plastic links because they will now fit correctly in ah. hate dropping things okay so moving on slightly what I've got is um, some 
obviously shocks there I'll put the the links the bent links that are here and there are from the motor mount to the uh, to the sh to the axles then I have to put straight links into here and then bolt them up to the let's find the other axle there I have to bolt them up to that top link mount just there so it's coming on this may be wrong and in a few like frames of time you'll see that me stripping it all down again but at the moment it seems to be going all right another thing to bear in mind if you're going to follow this video to do your own conversion this here is converted from is a 3d piece so into these slots here the standard FTX rod ends fit not the larger um, scout rod ends um, just bear that in mind when you're getting your bits together about what fits onto where well, obviously if you've got another mount different size rod ends will fit onto that I hope I made that clear if you find you do have to uh, um, modify these at any time these rod ends just here yeah these are the FTX old the um, little ones off the FTX what I do and this is me doing it okay so it doesn't always go right I get a pair of pliers onto the side of the uh, thing and it just pops out like that then you can use that to push onto the uh, onto these ball, ball joints just there my fingers that would just snap onto there and it will stay there okay so it's been believe it or not a couple of weeks since I last worked on this I was having trouble with the links as I didn't like the way that they were um, mounting up it made the uh, the it, it clocks the axle too far forward so the it was I'm going to show you on this one here this is how you've got one set of links on it was making it was clocking the axle like that with the, with the servo facing all the way down I wanted it like pretty much like that so it's set, it's set nice and level so with Christmas and everything else it got put on the back burner but I've just started to mess around with it again realised I have a little bit of time and what I've decided to do is take the a few of the straight links i.e. these ones I've taken the uh, the end I've taken that taken that off the rod end and inside there is a threaded bar which is um, on these ones anyway uh, locked tight in so that obviously so they don't work loose so I've decided to um, cut the uh, the link down a bit and these aren't like normal links they only are they're only into uh, got a hole that deep to screw the uh, the link thing is on with these things here yeah so I'm gonna cut off um, I'm not too sure how much that is it's about that much and what that does is give me I can just show you there it doesn't clock the um, servo or the axle too far forward and I mean it's a bit loose at the moment because I've just got it mocked up in there 
so that's what I'm doing at the moment. The biggest problem I have is these are these three bars are loctited into the uh, into the link. So what I'm doing, this is how I've done that first one anyway, is got hold of it with a couple of pairs of pliers, um, lock these two nuts up, and then I can turn that bar out of there. So you now I have all the stuff here, and now it's moved. So. I'll have to go and find it. Another thing I just thought of is the difference between the Scout links and the standard FTX links are not a lot. Yeah? These bars, these threaded bars, are the same size, the threads are the same, and everything else. Okay, now, I'm not too worried about scratching this bar up because it's already been scratched and everything else with the uh, with the uh, rock crawling that the truck has already done. So, I'm going to get hold of the first nut. If you hear giggling, these are very mature children talking about nuts and screwing and everything else like that, you can insert your jokes where you want um, now then ok and get those up together and now I'm just going to hold the bar like that You watch this not work now. Another pair of pliers on the, the bottom nut. Nope, that's not going to work now. Told you. Be back in a second. This is a 5.5 mil. Um, it is screwdriver from Schumacher uh, Racing. You get these with kits uh, like the um, touring cars and stuff like that. I've got in videos which are like two or three years old now. And so what we're going to do? I've got the bar in the in the pliers. Got the the um, spanner on the bottom nut and slowly it will begin to turn like that you've got to take I have to take the bars at the end because I've got to chop both ends off because the holes in the thread doesn't run all the way through the uh, the bar the, the link so See what I mean? It does mess up the end of the uh, link. So I did try wrapping it in tape and everything else, but it's not worked. So I'm going to go and battle with this, and I'll be back in a second. So we have links all on the uh, where they're supposed to be. Don't have a servo. Um, on for that one yet, but as you can see, a four link system, both sides. They're all on. Uh, they've got the proper uh, what they called little collars in to make sure they can move with the uh, uh, articulation of the um, of the truck. I don't know what suspension I'm going with yet. These are 100 mil ones, but they look a bit high to me, especially when I put the body on. Which now doesn't line up, by the way, because the, because the uh, 
the links are too high. I'm going to zoom you in for a bit because I want to show you something. Right, just there. These are the what's the proper word? Helical uh, cross. Let's focus on them. these uh, gears here. Um, I've got them because they're supposed to be uh, stronger. However, the um, they're not round, which isn't handy, especially when it's designed to go round all the time. I've got a really really good mesh just there then it gets to be where it's too tight and uh, again it goes too, uh, too loose and it's kind of like uh, skipping on the um, on the cog but what do you do um, I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to uh, change it or something I suppose uh, but I wanted me metal gears in there so we just have to look, see what else is around. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not. But that is basically Axle Scouts on an Outback. A Scout back, as it's been known, because it's quite a popular swap. This is no way uh, a how to do video. This is just me, what I do. If you can, if you want to copy it, you can go ahead. If you've got questions, ask away. Not a problem. And uh, the reason it's noisy is I've got metal spur gear and pinion gear here. Also, you can see the. Get you in short, hold on. Yeah, four wheel steering. That seems to be the best way without having diff lockers to improve the steering of these trucks because they're, they're turning circles about a mile wide. Uh, so, what I've done, I got a um, a signal reverser lead from eBay it's about seven quid I think and uh, yeah it works perfectly very happy with that and of course goes forwards and backwards okay so now then the the Outback um, body shell will still fit, but the wheels are aren't aligned to the um, the wheel arches. And I hate seeing that. So it's Chinese Land Rover time, and uh, oh, I'm in the middle of doing that. Let's get that out of the way. Johnny's Land Rover. Uh, I'm putting the extra wide arches on it, so I'm in the middle of cutting that out. Um, let's have a side. Yeah, I'm in the middle of doing all that though. So, uh, that is that. One scout back. I'm very happy with this. And of course, now this is done, I've got to get to replacing all the bearings in the SCX10. But that's for another day, probably tomorrow. So, uh, oh yeah, suspension, you're going to notice these are odd. Don't know which ones to go with at the moment. I've got these ones here. They are working fluid uh, reservoir and everything else like that. Um, but they're a bit notchy, they they get stuck like in the, the full fully suspended um, position. These ones are okay. Might get some more of these. These haven't got oil in or anything else like that yet. Got to tidy the wiring up. 
Uh, got to find another place for the winch because I don't like the stinger bumper that it had on it. It doesn't match the, the Land Rover. And what else? I think that's about it. Yeah, tied the wiring up and stuff like that. And we get it up the woods and see how, see how it goes and all that. So, if you've got any questions about how to do your scalp back, uh, conversion, if you go onto Facebook, go to the FTX Owners Club, the Owners Page, sorry, known as the Outbackers. If you've got one of these vehicles that started out as an FTX Outback or the equivalent, um, the wealth of information on there is amazing. Uh, that's about it. Thank you for watching. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Uh, hopefully, you want to see the crawling build videos. Uh, next one is we've got a chassis round here. I'm going to start building that up into a crawler. See what sort of thing we can make with that. So. Thank you very much all for watching, thank you for your subscribing, thank you for all your comments on the videos, uh, all the likes that it's been getting, and I'm nearly at 10, uh, 100,000 views uh, at the time of the filming, which is uh, the 2nd of January 2018. Uh, I'm just saying thank you all the time now, so thanks a lot guys, thanks for watching, take care, bye bye.